Hello and welcome back. Um, today I'm going to show you how you can purchase assets in StockTrack. And the procedure is pretty much the same regardless if you want to buy a mutual fund or bonds or stocks. It differs slightly but not that much. Um, the first thing we do is that we have to go to the StockTrack webpage. So we enter StockTrack.com and then we enter a username and write our password. So, when you first log into StockTrack, uh, on the first page, you can find a little bit of a snapshot of your portfolio. So, for example, you can see the portfolio value, which is for me currently one million dollar. Uh, you can see the portfolio return. You can see how much cash you have available. Uh, and a little bit other types of inf information. Uh, and you can also see the portfolio ranking, how you are doing compared to the other students uh, also taking this portfolio simulation. Uh, up here you have the different categories. You can look at my portfolios and open positions, which is where any trade that you have made will be once it's gone through. You can also see transaction history and order history and some other parts like the rankings. But today we're going to focus on the trading. So if you want to trade stocks, you go and trade stocks. If you want to trade mutual funds, you go and trade mutual funds. So, but today I'm just going to show you how to do a purchase and I use stocks as an example. So you click on stocks and then we get here. So we're going to trade in the North America market. So you, there's no need to change anything here. Uh, and you get the information from StockTrack right now that the market is now closed, which means that uh, the market is not open at the moment. If I do make any trade, it's not going to go through until the market opens. Now we can choose different kinds of actions. I can either buy a stock, I can sell a stock if I own it. I could short sell a stock. That means that I sell the stock even if I do not own it or I can cover a short sell, which means that if I did short sell in the uh, past, I could now cover my position and buy it back so that I no longer have a debt. But for example, I'm just going to use the buy action here. Um, when you want to purchase a share or anything here, you do not write the company name here, but you have to write the company symbol. And where you can find this symbol, I'm going to show you in a later uh, video, but you use the screeners that we have in the study guidelines. Anyway, for example, for Google, you have the symbol Goog. So if you just enter Goog here, then you will get a little bit of information about the symbol so you know it's the right company. Okay, so Goog is the Google Corporation. The currency uh, buy it in is the US dollar, and the last price paid is $864.25. You can also see the volume over here. You can see that only 700 shares were purchased the last uh, trading day. Um, Okay, so here you enter the quantity. Let's say that I want to purchase 20 shares of the Google. Uh, then you have the choice to choose different order types. So you have something called a market order, you have a limit order, you have a stop order, and you have a trailing stop order based on either dollar or percentage. These order types, uh, they you can read about them in the book, or you can use the videos uh, provided by StockTrack that you find over here. So this is when we're in the stock trading room, you see how to use limit orders in stock track, how to use limit sell or stop orders, etc. So these instruction videos can be used to find out how different orders work. Okay, um, but let's say I just want to purchase the stock, then I will probably use the order type market. Now, uh, the last price paid is the price that you usually announce as the price of the stock, because it's the last price someone paid to get the stock. However, um, if I want to buy the share, it's probably not this price that I'm going to pay. The reason that I have, I have something called a bid price and an ask price. So the bid price that we have here, that's the price that someone is willing to purchase the stock for at the moment. So the highest price that anyone has said that, okay, I'm willing to pay $854.57 for Google, uh, and that person has not yet been able to actually purchase the stock for that price. The ask price, on the other hand, is the currently lowest price that anyone has said that, okay, I'm willing to sell my share of Google, but I'm requiring $872.65 for doing so. If I now want to buy at the market order type, uh, with the market order type, then I will have to pay the price that someone is currently requesting to sell the share, and that is the ask price. So if I am a buyer, uh, and I wish to buy it now using the market order type, then I will have to buy it at the ask price. On the other hand, if I'm a seller, and I want to sell it right now, then I would sell it at the bid price. So 
you get a little bit less if you sell and you pay a little bit more if you buy it. Okay, so now I want to use an order type uh, and then I click on preview order. And then StockTrack is going to give us an estimation of how much this will cost me. Uh, and you will also see that there are information regarding the commission that you have to pay. As you can see, the site is sometimes a little bit slow, but you just have to be patient and eventually it will catch up. Okay. Okay, um, so now we get to this site where you can see the quantity they want to buy it at. You can see the action, which is a market buy order. Uh, and the price I'm paying is the market price. And you see also a commission, which means that I'm actually paying a little bit to just to process the order. Okay, so if I'm satisfied with this, I see the estimated cost, then I click place order. And hopefully then the store tech will say that this has gone through. And I'll see that it says success. Your market buy for 20 shares of Google was executed. All right, so that means that I'm uh, waiting to get this trade. So uh, that's it for today. Now I just have one more thing to show you. Uh, if you would like to read in the book Investment and Portfolio Management, 9th edition by Bodekin Marcus, then you can read about market, limit, and stop orders on pages 93 to 94. And you can read about bid price and ask price on page 57. So that's it for today. Thank you very much.